next, but we will begin, and this is after an attack in Brown County courtroom. Two sheriff's deputies will now always be in court with a woman accused of killing and dismembering a Green Bay man. I was in the courtroom when that attack happened, and we have new video from a courtroom camera as changes are being made in this case. In an instant, a courtroom shock. Now, a new look at this moment as the Brown County Sheriff's Office releases video to us from a courtroom camera mounted inside Brown County Judge Thomas Walsh's courtroom. This camera shows 25-year-old Taylor Shabusiness motionless, wearing a belt restraint that her handcuffs are attached to. These are the moments before she attacked her own defense attorney, Quinn Jolly. Her lawyer next to her is silent, the deputy just a few feet away as Shabusiness leads with her elbow lunging toward Jolly. Jolly reacts quickly, defending himself. Within seconds, the deputy has Shabusiness on the ground, contained, never losing contact with her as she fights and kicks. Clear the courtroom. Everyone is told to leave the courtroom as more deputies rush in to help. They need a code three and branch two, 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 three is on his way wrestling with your business. Captain Joni Lemons with Brown County Sheriff's Office tells Action 2 News the deputies responded as trained and as expected to ensure the safety of everyone in the courtroom, even checking on your business. Are you hurt? No. You hurt anywhere? Your wrist? No. Let's see you got some bruising. Oh, no. Any tingling in your fingers or feet or neck? No. Okay. Why don't we? Division okay? Yes. Once under control, Shabusiness is escorted out of the courtroom. Unfazed, she motions to a family member, then hauled away by three armed deputies. Minutes after the attack, Jolly, okay to continue the hearing, tells the judge of his intentions in this murder and dismemberment case. I'm going to put a motion in the withdrawal from this matter. Okay. Um, well, you, you can prepare that, and, um, and then I'll... Uh... We'll hear it. Okay. Because of the attack, Brown County Lieutenant Kevin Pollock says Shabusiness will now be escorted by at least two deputies every time she is in court. According to court records, Judge Walsh will decide on Jolly's motion to withdraw from the case during her next court hearing. I did reach out to the Wisconsin State Public Defender's Office here in Green Bay to see what would happen if the judge does allow Jolly to withdraw from the case, but they told me they could not comment at this time.